Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's the birthday of our lady today, September 8th, 2017. And um, let's go right ahead. Um, there are two choices for the Gospel of the Mass today. And I'm choosing the second one. Of course, it depends on what uh, Gospels the priest might want to choose to uh, use for the day. But today I'm going to read on... Uh, about the Gospel of St. Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. It's the birthday of Our Lady. And if you notice this gospel, this gospel highlights the fact of Our Lady's maternity, the fact of Our Lady's motherhood, right? Um, it is her own birthday, but to celebrate that birthday, okay, we are also commemorating or keeping, to, keeping in mind the birth of Jesus, that Jesus was going to be born of her. Okay? Why is the gospel of today's Mass uh, highlighting that? Because, because I think it is to emphasize the fact that the very reason for Our Lady's birth, the very um, vocation, the very reason why she came to earth, why, she, why God created her, was precisely for her to carry out the mission of being the Mother of God. And, and not only the mother of God, but the mother of each and every one of us as well. Because Our Lady was given to us by Jesus Himself to be our own mother. See? Remember when He was hanging on the cross and just before He actually died? What did our Lord Jesus uh, say to St. John and Our Lady who were standing there in front of Him? Okay. He said, yeah, well, he said, woman, behold thy son, son, behold thy mother, right? Our Lord himself gave our lady to us to be our own mother right there at the foot of the cross. So the birth of our lady, commemorating the birth of our lady, is also a, a celebration of her motherhood, both her motherhood of Jesus himself and the motherhood of that Jesus shared of her to all of us, right? To all of us. We are all children of Mary. That is the vocation of Our Lady. And um, the Catechism, you know, of the Catholic faith has uh, plenty of, uh, of um, points that uh, highlight and emphasize the fact of Our Lady's motherhood. We can read from... Uh, the Catechism here, Mary's predestination to be the mother of God. In point 488, God sent forth his son, but to prepare a body for him, he wanted the free cooperation of a creature. For this, from all eternity, God chose for the mother of his son, a daughter of Israel, a young Jewish woman of Nazareth in Galilee a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. See? Then another 
another part of the Catechism, point 495, says, Called in the Gospels the mother of Jesus, Mary is acclaimed by Elizabeth at the prompting of the Spirit, and even before the birth of her son, as the mother of my Lord. In fact, the one whom she conceived as man by the Holy Spirit, who truly became her son according to the flesh, was none other than than the Father's eternal Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity. Hence, the Church confesses that Mary is truly Mother of God. And in the Greek, remember this, <clears throat> there is a term uh, that is referred to Our Lady, which, is, which comes from Greek. It's called Theotokos. Okay? Theotokos. Theo means God. Okay? Theotokos is mother of God. Eh? She's truly the mother of God. So that doctrine of Theotokos is, uh, is a dogma of faith eh? that we believe in the church. Okay, well, Our Lady is our mother. Now, I got a question for you. If it is mommy's birthday, if it is your mother's birthday, what do you do? Cake. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's very good. To, uh, to celebrate with a cake, right? To celebrate. It's a day of celebration. But at the same time, at the same time, it is also a day of offering, right? I'd like to think if it were your own mother's birthday, you would give her a gift, right? You would give her a gift. So my question to all of you today would be, what gift are you going to give Our Lady on her birthday? What would be the special gift you're going to give Our Lady on her birthday? You see, folks, the Blessed Mother is not just some kind of spiritual being that is distant and far from each one of us. Our Lady is our mother. Our Lady is truly a mother to us. And we have to be truly children to her. See? So how are we being children to Our Lady? Are we really treating Our Lady as a mother? Not just as some other special saint that we are somehow acquainted with. Okay? No, that is not the way our Lord wanted us to treat, with, to treat Our Lady. He wanted us to treat Our Lady like, his own, like our own mother. With the same intimacy, with the same familiarity with the same uh, relationship of any mother and son of any good mother and good son would have okay? she exercises plenty of the same things that our own mother would do to us okay? but of course in a more spiritual realm but you know not only because she also takes care of us materially See? Uh, for our own material concerns. So Our Lady is always is there as a mother to each and every one of us. So on this day, on her birthday, what are each and every one of you going to do? As an offering, as a gift to Our Lady today. See? I have a few suggestions. Uh, I have a few. Very good, Sophia. That is one very nice suggestion, right? To pray the rosary a little better today. Maybe to pray the rosary today with a little bit more attention, a little bit more devotion, meaning every word that we say, eh? keeping in mind perhaps the, the, uh, the, the uh, mysteries with a little bit more of uh, intensity today. Today is Friday. So what mystery are we praying today in the rosary? Sorrowful the sorrowful mysteries, right? So let us try to keep in mind better the, the, the events of the sorrowful mysteries, eh? As we are praying the rosary. And that way we could have prayed the rosary better today. Okay, what other suggestions? Chevelle? <laughs> Your eye hurts. You can offer that up to Our Lady. That can be a nice gift for Our Lady today. <laughs> See? That you offer your discomforts, your sacrifices. Can be a very nice offering. Remember how she, how she told the children of Fatima? She told the children of Fatima, you have to offer plenty of rosaries and plenty more sacrifices. See? 
plenty more sacrifices. So those of you who might be experiencing some uh, special difficulty today, well, it might be a very good idea to offer those little difficulties, little pains and aches. <laughs> Me as pointing to my shoulder. Yeah, I woke up with a painful shoulder today. Well, we can offer up these things for Our Lady today. Offer up the sacrifices for the souls in purgatory and for our own souls too. Yeah, we can offer these things for Our Lady. What else, Joe? Another suggestion? What's, the off what's your offering for Our Lady today? To imitate her virtues. Very good. Very good. Very good suggestion. You know, today you can resolve, you can make a resolution to try to imitate Our Lady in, in just, just limit it to one virtue today. Today, one, one little virtue, what can I improve on today that, that uh, 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 mimics one of Our Lady's uh, best virtues? Of course, she lived all the virtues perfectly well because she was... Uh, of no stain of sin, right? She was sinless. But, um, you know, we can perhaps choose one virtue today. Will it, will it be purity? Will it be her humility? Will it be her obedience? See, yesterday we were only talking of obedience. See, her fiat, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today might be a good day to be more obedient. <laughs> okay? To be more obedient and offer all of that to Our Lady. Okay, what else? What else? What else can we do? Eh? For those of you who are capable, see? And maybe this entire weekend, you have an entire weekend. doesn't have to be celebrated only today. You might want to go on a pilgrimage. See? You might want to go on a pilgrimage to Our Lady. See? You can go on a pilgrimage and uh, go to some shrine or some church uh, of Our Lady and uh, say some extra rosaries there. See? What else? Patience. patience. You can live a little bit. Okay, You can live patience a little bit better today. Right? Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe also piety. You can be a little bit more prayerful today. So there are many things, many things, folks, that we can, uh, we can always offer to Our Lady uh, on her birthday. We can pick and choose and we can uh, dedicate uh, that particular a choice of whether it's a virtue, it's a prayer, or whatever it is we want to do, offer it up for Our Lady's special day today. Let us treat Our Lady, Our Mother, the way we would have treated our own mothers on their birthday. And I guarantee you, she will appreciate it. She will appreciate it, and she's going to shower down graces on each and every one of us for showing to her how much we are children to her our mother okay folks i hope you have a nice celebration today uh if you want to have a little cake which uh, i guess we are also going to have tonight that's a very nice way to celebrate as a family put our lady in your family put our ladies feasts incorporate our ladies feasts with your family celebrations so that your children will learn to love Our Lady as a mother. Happy birthday, Blessed Virgin. We're off to Mass. We're going to celebrate your birthday at Mass and hope that we can live up to your expectations today. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.